Lifeboat number two becomes the first boat the Carpathia comes across. The crew of the Carpathia open gangway doors and drop ladders down to the boat and help people get onto the Carpathia. After the lifeboat is empty, the crew of the Carpathia use her cargo cranes to pluck the boat out of the water and onto the deck of Carpathia. Same goes for all the other lifeboats, except Carpathia cannot take all of the Titanic's boats with her, so they leave seven boats just to float around, including all of the collapsible boats. Carpathia's crew use some of her boats to go back and look for survivors, but all they find are bodies just floating in the water. 1,500 are dead, 705 survived, and all the survivors are on Carpathia. The crew decide to take the survivors to New York, where the Titanic was heading. Carpathia is at the site for several hours, until it heads off for New York. They arrive in New York on April 18, 1912. The crew of Carpathia are given medals, and Captain Rostron is awarded a trophy. After the Titanic disaster, everything changed. And even Carpathia was given 10 more lifeboats, now having 20 lifeboats in total. Carpathia would carry on as an ocean liner till World War I. In World War I, Carpathia was requisitionized as a troop ship. On July 17, 1918, Carpathia countered SMU-55, a German U-boat. After being torpedoed three times, Carpathia sank within two hours with a loss of five.